right, we are streaming. No, we are connecting. And go. <laughs> now we're streaming. And, oh, wait. Click the other YouTube watch stream. Oh, no, oh that's getting at, your screen. At, I know, I know, hold. All right, we will be getting, stop singing, hello. All right, we are going to be getting started in just one moment. We're not gonna put the chat on. This. My gun just struck out. Alright, so. We'll be right back. Here we are. Hello, everyone. Welcome, welcome. And I do apologize if this is um, kind of dark. We are outside of the, the airport. airport. So. Yeah. Yes. Um, my name is Danielle Branch, and I'm going to be your hostess with the mostest, joined by my beautiful daughter. And we're going to be talking about the experiment that we did and what those results are. So, um, why don't you tell them a little bit about who you are? They know you're my <laughs> daughter, but who you are. And uh, why don't you go and tell them all about the experiment that I ran? Okay, so... I'm a YouTuber as well. I have my own YouTube channel. That will be somewhere on here. I don't know where. I'll put a link up here. In it might be card. here. It might be at the end. You never know. <laughs> but basically, we ran a little experiment to find out if thumbs up or thumbs down really matter. And yep. you're probably wondering that too right about now. And we have the results for you. And so... What what were the results? Tell them all about like what, what the video was and, and all of that. So the video was basically the thumbnail said gives this give this video a thumbs down. It actually got really good watch time, but I didn't get have time to see the whole video throughout myself. You didn't watch all my video? No, I couldn't. Oh you're horrible. I was too busy doing chores. That's true. <laughs> Your husband put me into it. That's true. Anyways. So. Basically. The video was telling you to put a thumbs down. And it had a bunch of stuff in it. But it wasn't exactly so random as you think it would be. Right. We ran. So the experiment that we ran. Basically found out if they matter. Well. Our, we had a small hypothesis. Hmm? I said that wrong. Hypothesis. Hypothesis. That they don't matter. Because you're still getting the watch time. You're still getting the views. It's just engagement. And you know what? We were correct. Yep. Absolutely. So we were correct. And if you're actually interested to go and find out how that works, how that video is doing um, so during the first 24 hours it had a 45% audience retention and um, it had I want to say at that time and I might be wrong because I don't have it up um, it actually had a pretty good view count um, that isn't really fair only because I did promote it because I really wanted people to either give a thumbs down or a um, thumbs up or whatever they're gonna do so um, at this moment, we are more than 72 hours. Planes. Airplanes. <laughs> Let's talk about the new movie, Planes. It's live. Um, yeah. So after 72 hours, it has actually had a 65% audience retention. And the reason why the audience retention is important is because um, someone had actually asked in one of the groups that I'm in, um, part of this experiment is there a certain amount of watch time that you wanted us to watch because you know obviously watch time is important and I said that it wouldn't be fair for me to tell you how much of the video to watch because just like in any normal video we don't tell everyone you know what how long to go watch like if you told everyone how like for example let's say me I said I shared it everywhere everyone watch 15 seconds of my video mm-hmm and then replay it. 
So um, for those that may not know, talk about um, when someone goes in and only watches 15 seconds of your video, what, is that, what does that do to the YouTube algorithm? Well, if you only watch, only watch 15 seconds, that'll definitely get the watch time not that the watch time is kind of like a bar mm -hmm. bar is this big your watch time for the how to create a wolf tail okay or a sculpture is 74 hours i don't know 74 hours is a long time four hours okay and some people only watch two hours. Mm -hmm. Some people watch 15 minutes. Some people watch one hour. All that is brought together. For watch, in for watch time. Total watch time, correct. And it really, it either hurts your channel, helps mm -hmm. your channel, mm -hmm. or keeps your channel in balance. So it, if... And this is why um, buying views is not going to help. Mm -mm. So if someone um, only watches 15 seconds of your video, it's telling YouTube that this video isn't any good and it's not going to help your channel at all. So we're not going to promote it. That's right. Exactly. So what you're really looking for is longer watch time. That's the most important thing is longer plane. watch time. Yep. This plane that is actually on takeoff going to be taking off awesome oh my god the lights are turning on to the pizza <laughs> so um <laughs> hold on oh yep it's taking off i apologize we're Stop actually going to be on our way to las vegas sean candles there sean doubt you're watching but if you are we're going to be there um gonna see my uncle yeah maybe yeah <laughs> so why don't you tell them about what kind of a channel that you have okay so my channel is a cosplay channel if you don't know what cosplay is it's dress up for all ages and true larping that's related larping comic-con people cosplay you have to know what comic-con is unless you're five um, I'll, I'll accept that okay but all these conventions that you can cosplay at mm -hmm. you can just basically have fun like for adults it's basically like being a kid again and I know I'm only 11 but it's actually really fun like you can be anyone who you want to be like you want to be Dean Winchester I'm pretty sure that's his last name it is it Dean is Dean Winchester from Supernatural be Dean Winchester from Supernatural <laughs> you want to be Somebody from an anime, Black Butler, Sebastian, the demon. You want to be him? Be him. You want to be... I'm going to do a video game here. Bendy and the Ink Machine. You want to be Boris? You want to be Bendy? Be Boris or Bendy. You can be whoever you want to be. And that's what I do. I create little skits and stuff. But so far, I'm going to be vlogging on my channel all week. All week. So... Right when we get into a comfortable spot, I'm going to start vlogging and all that. And basically, I'm going to be uploading all week. I have a whole entire team that's going to help who also upload. Dawn, Aurora, Nami, all of us. We in this. That's my channel. Awesome. Awesome. Subscribe. <laughs> Subscribe. So um, for many people... Um, Oh, yes, Longwell Art here. He likes to go in and cosplay as a Klingon from Star Trek. Yes. Live long and prosper. Duh. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, we're dorks. Um, <laughs> for those that, that haven't watched um, how I came into YouTube, um, she actually had a channel, and she her dream and goal in life is to be a YouTuber, right? Mm -hmm. And so um, I actually know a thing or two about YouTube. And so I kept suggesting, hey, why don't you do, um, why don't you do this video or that video? Or why don't you do something different to your video? And I hey, Jazzy Puppet. I, I shut her down because I'm like, well, you don't know about YouTube because you don't even have a channel of your own. So how can you tell me to run my channel? Mm hmm. So, of course. And so she did it. Me being the and wonderful I mother I am, I did. And I said my first goal was what? To 
me a YouTube. No, my first goal was to beat you in subscribers. Yes. And you know what? Because I stopped making videos, I had 74 and she started to beat me. I did. I, I beat her. So I think after that, that's when she kind of realized, okay, maybe she knows something, at least a little something or about YouTube. Or she learned something. Yeah. So, so. Yeah. That's, that's kind of what's been going on here. Um, so what's really funny is we are here in Austin Airport. And we are in the south, um, the south terminal. There's like two airlines. Hold on. Airplane. <laughs> <laughs> so um, we're in the south terminal. And it's, um, there's nothing here. <laughs> there is nothing here. Absolutely nothing. Nothing. Do you hear the speaker on me? What? Do you hear the speaker on me? No. He said, uh, uh, we're, we're live streaming. Technical difficulties. Mm -hmm. um, That's my other sister. The, the plane's on its way. It's supposed to get here at 11.50. And the uh, plane um, is getting here at 11.50. So, and, uh, our plane's coming super late. It's, plane, but I don't know why, but I'm going to see my baby cousin Lucas. Like, it but had three and two. Back to our subject. I shut her down, basically. But then she came back up. Alright, we're live streaming on the pizza. I'm That's trying to run my channel cool. recently, so let's get back. Sorry, um, our plane is is uh, all sorts of different things going on with the plane. Um, so how many subscribers do you have right now? I have no idea. Maybe around four because I'm, four subscribers. <laughs> I, if subscribers were currency, I would be flat out broke. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. We need to make that trending. I like that that little comment. I'm gonna mm. have to go and, and tweet that. We are flying to beautiful, horrible Sin City, Las Vegas. Sin um, City, hold up. <laughs> that's what it's called, Sin City. Um, yeah, no, so yes, we are flying to, to Las Vegas, and um, one of the things I think. I have actually always kind of wondered when one goes on vacation, do you vlog it? Do you record? Are you going to be spending your entire vacation editing? Thankfully, I think I have my editing down to a science at this point. Can't say it's great, but I, I can do it quickly. Um, so I already have some ideas. Um, you're going to see some things. Brought the GoPro along. It'll be fun. It'll be fun. If you guys have ever gone to Las Vegas, tell us. What is the, yeah, that's a, that's a good question. So even though I've been to Vegas before, um, if you've ever been to Vegas, let me know down in the comments or here inside of the live chat. I know pizza, I see, pizza. I see the pizza, pizza's pizza. here. <laughs> what are some of the, the things that you think that we need to absolutely do when we're in Vegas? Let us know inside the comments and, um, you know, maybe we'll actually end up doing it and recording it. Totally. But. Um, some of the things that I think are going to be interesting on this trip, um, and Vegas kind of reminds me of a YouTube channel, only because, and you might actually find this kind of interesting. Oh, you live there. You oh, lived there. I've heard a lot of people don't like it if they <laughs> live there. Mm -hmm. So, um, one of the things that I find interesting in Vegas when I was there, I mean, the lights, the sounds, um, neon lights all the time. I've been to Smashburger, love Smashburger Jazzy Puppet. We By the way, you would actually like Jazzy Puppet's channel. So check out Jazzy Puppet and subscribe. What Seriously. Um, so Jazzy Puppet, um, see mm -hmm. that puppet? Um, so it's for, it's a channel that, that's for girls. Um, toy unboxings, um, how to draw, which I know you love to draw. Mm -hmm. How to draw the toys. It's cute. It's all We girl. can show off my drawings. There later. you go, later. Later. Yeah, later. I'm a really good artist. I have an issue with our stream. Mm-hmm. It's laggy. But, um, so, this is one of the, and you guys know I'm very honest and upfront with my, um, with my channel, and so I guess this is one of those, um, hashtag dose of Danielle's. Mm-hmm. Long will art. Yeah, that's a good idea. So, um... One of, the, like I said, one of the things that's interesting is whenever you go on vacation, do you bring your camera? Do you vlog? Um, do you record what you're doing? So that's something I'm thinking about. And one of the things I'm thinking about in relation to this channel is um, Vegas and the lights and the sounds is a lot. We just lost our stream. I hope that we're still live. It's stream just... complete. What? Ah, I think we're done. How? I don't know. It says we're done. 
Uh, nope, but we're still streaming, so if you could still see this, let us know. Yeah, please. Not Same sure. I think um, the video's out for you. It says it is, but... We're gonna get that. Yep, we are. We're still live. We're resuming. Alright. Not sure what's going on, guys. I we're, know. we're airport... We have one bar. Airport Wi-Fi, so... One bar. Um... What I was saying is that Vegas to me is a lot like um, the niche that you're in. Crowded, it is, um, it's neon, it's light. So how do you then make your channel different so you can stand out amongst all those neon lights? So. Ooh, I like that. I know, I know. Stand hey, Aiden. Be that one neon light that doesn't work until like the rest of his life, and then like its birthday, it starts working again. Be that light. <laughs> <laughs> so um, that's something that I'm currently thinking about um, when it comes to Vegas. So um, that's something I'm really thinking about doing. And who knows? I like I said, there's lots to do. I know I want to go to the Venetian and I want to ride the gondola ride. So you guys might actually get to see that and. And hey, we'll Aiden talk YouTube. Watson. Hey, Aiden Watson. Hey. <laughs> um, so, yeah. I want to yes. talk about... That is my daughter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I want to go and talk about your channels. So, I've mm -hmm. already talked about Jazzy Puppet. Longwell Art. Let me tell you about Longwell Art. Um, so, he he paints. He's I been doing painting. art for... He's been doing art for speed, a very long time. Speed art, but I love speed art. Like... But sometimes speed art's so good that they won't tell us how to make it, and that just, like, makes me so mad. Because I'm like, so, I want to make it. Right, okay. It and won't be as good as you, so you don't have to worry. No, that that's true. Um, Time-lapse art is okay. Um, it can be kind of nice to relax and watch someone, but at the same time, you, you want to want to do it mm -hmm. yourself. Especially if it's simple, and they don't tell you how to make it. It's just like, okay, you have to go based off of this. Like, I'm not good at freehand. I really am not. At one point, I started copying things off of my my monitor, and that's a really bad way because that's basically stealing other people's art and just making modifications, like a recolor. But at the same time, the best way to draw and to learn how to draw one style is to copy mm -hmm. and copy and copy and copy until eventually you create your own style. Like. Now I'm not down to like putting a piece of paper on a phone or on on a thing and then just mm -hmm. tracing. Mm -hmm. I'm now doing a, like freehand copying kind of. Yeah. To where, but then modifying it so it doesn't it isn't a copy. So um, that would be a suggestion for Longwell Art is um, if you're going to do any time lapse, also make sure that you go and you do some where you actually do a little bit of teaching on how you did it because others probably want to do the same thing that you're doing. Mm -hmm. Now, Aiden. Um, Good Aiden, job, Longwell Art. So Aiden did a few videos that I saw. And, um, oh, Aiden, you're gonna have to help me. The door. Remember the door? Um, I forgot what you called it. You called it something. Remember, and the memes. The me no, 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 no. You say the memes. Am I supposed to know that? Yes, yes. I Dank memes. Dank, dank memes. memes. Dank memes. I don't know what they are, but, um, the I- The goal is to teach. How not blow your eyes away. Yes, no, I agree. Does, I do draw. She does draw. I can, like- Go inside and get my art. Here, I'm gonna go inside and get my art. Okay. okay. All right. Um. So. Back. Give me some pizza. Aiden has like a couple videos out right now. Um. Definitely go check out Aiden's channel. He's trying. He's trying. I think she's going to go get her art. <laughs> Other door. Um. So. That's that's kind of yeah. I wouldn't I wouldn't do time lapse either. Long well. Um. Yeah, I know we got five people watching, so definitely go and say, hey, what's up inside of the chat? Um, I have time to kill folks, and there's a, an okay internet connection out here, so I figured, hey, let's go ahead and try to live stream, and like I said, it's okay. Hashtag create for contentment. Dude, let's get that trending. Longwell Art, when, um, when the chat... When the video goes and, and posts, I want you to go ahead and put that inside the comment for me. I will go and post that on social media for All you. Right, what did I miss? Um, not much. Not much. Alright. So, I don't know if you can see this. Show it off. 
All right, so I drew this. Ben drowned creepypasta, but I drew a better version. <laughs> um, I drew, I drew this. You can interact with it and like put your finger there. So it looks like you're interacting with the picture. I drew this recently, which is me, sadly. I don't have a pet fox. Goku with dirt eyes. You gonna go through that whole book? No. Alright. Bendy. And then last but not least. My my favorite now. Like this is my favorite one. Bart Simpson. Bart Simpson. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So uh yes, that's no. <laughs> so um that's that's kind of what we're up to. And no Aiden, um we actually Oh, I see what you're talking about. I see. You're right. It was clickbait. No, I see the um I see the title is completely off, so I'm gonna have to go and change that. Um so earlier in the stream we talked about the we talked about the results of the experiment, our thumbs down experiment, and it was exactly as I thought it would be. It is just engagement. So do not fear the thumbs down. It's engagement. Anytime you see someone give you a thumbs down, say thank you for the engagement. Yeah, you know, we should talk about now, does clickbait work? Mmm. Because I saw clickbait on there and then I'm and I immediately think of PewDiePie. Because Felix does ooh. Whoa. Okay. Yeah. She just saw it. So, um, all right, keep going. Felix, who so, is? Not everyone knows who Felix is. Felix Spielberg. I don't know how to say his last name. Spielberg. PewDiePie. PewDiePie. Okay, keep going. So, I say Felix because that's his mm -hmm. proper name. Okay. Felix does clickbait a lot. And I say clickbait as in he titles his videos like, I'm the real kazoo kid. And then he just sings the song, or like just sings with him, and and just says, "I like to sing, dance, and have fun." Mm -hmm. And that's not exactly clickbait, but a lot of the vines as well, vine compilations. What what is clickbait for those that don't know? Okay, clickbait is when, for example, in like the live stream, it says how to stand out in a crowded niche, but we're not talking anything about that. Yeah, I know. That's, that's a horrible. mistake. It wasn't <laughs> clickbait. Not intended. I will change it. Yeah, she didn't work that hard to have a clickbait description either. But no. yeah, <laughs> clickbait is not a mistake. So clickbait is where your title or your thumbnail say one thing and then nothing. it's nothing related. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so why is it bad? It's bad because people want to go in. For example, give me give me a clickbait title. Oh my gosh, I about died. First. Grammar. <laughs> Whatever. Two. Two. <coughs> PewDiePie does that. Mm hmm Where he just stands under a car. Okay, but... So, that is... Yes, clickbait does bite back. But, a clickbait... Clickbait's bad because it's like, okay, I want to hear about how you almost died. And then you watch the video... And, and you're and dancing like a chicken. Yeah. And, <laughs> or you're faking it. And it's just like... I wanted to know that, and even if it's a tutorial, I I hate when clickbait tutorials happen. Yes, Jazzy Puppet. Yes, yes. Trapped in the airport. No, actually, I like that because that's good, and I'm <laughs> I like that. I might do but that. But people mistake that. Well, we are in the airport though. But we're not well, trapped. No. All right. So no, it's true because people we're are going to click in, and then when they realize that they're not getting what they want, they're going to click out. And so something that we mentioned here in the very beginning of of the stream is that um, watch time, audience retention is huge. And I know that's something that I talk about on this channel all the time is audience retention. Mm -hmm. Increase the watch time and that's how you're going to make your channel grow. So clickbait. But just better clickbait. I have three with me. I have two with me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we're dorks. Um, and I am gonna actually do a fidget spinner clickbait and I have like this Live whole video stream. planned. 
Yep, 24 And then loop hour. it, loop it, loop it. Yeah, just to prove. Um, Free spinner, spinner giveaway. <laughs> give away my LED and it's going to be given away to me. <laughs> so, I mean, you know, that's, that's the thing is that while you're going to get your view count up, that's true. While you're going to probably hit the 10K at some point with the with the clickbait yes that's true but your vid but your watch time isn't like they'll just come in click out yep but then what's going to happen is that youtube is going to figure that out that that's exactly what you did and they're not going to promote your channel your videos and good luck being able to monetize mm -hmm. absolutely clickbait is hated by almost every single person it will I mean but we but we all have done it at least once if you have a YouTube channel you've at least done it on accident um my okay so will. the thumbs down video was clickbaity mm -hmm. the title was clickbaity and the um the thumbnail was was pretty clickbaity and I did it on purpose on it purpose. wasn't clickbaity it was bait click whatever um but at the same time I know mm, but at I the same it. time mm -hmm. I did it on purpose, but it wasn't really click. Would you consider it clickbait? Considering no. I talked about, I want you to give me a thumbs down on this. So was it really clickbait? We need to debate that fact. Was it actually clickbait? I don't. Let I us know in the comments. What do you yeah, guys think? Yeah, I don't consider it clickbait. But let's talk about fidget spinner ASMR here. <laughs> so your first videos, I even told her this multiple times. Her first videos, and I, I was still shutting her down at that point. The first videos were. ASMR all the way because she was like, "Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing my art." They, what the thing is that I, because of the headphones I was using, it it put that that sound to my voice. I didn't do it on purpose. I talked the very same. You talked. Thank you, Jazzy Puppet. I didn't think that it was um, a clickbait either. Yeah. I think it was smart. But you you were so quiet in your first videos, and I'm like ASMR. <laughs> I was nervous. Um, so, hey, while we're here, let's give this one a thumbs up. I hate mm -hmm. asking for that, but I mean, I feel like maybe I should. I hate when people, like, when they go into the video first thing, give this video a thumbs up. We haven't Chink. even watched anything yet. Exactly. Um, so, one thing that, um, and I know I talk a lot about morning fame. Mm -hmm. So, if you have not, um, if you haven't checked out morning fame, then... I'm going to go and put a link up in the iCard to the video where you can learn more about Morning Fame. One thing that it told me is I need to go in and get more engagement, which is why I was like, well, hey, let's go and talk about Thumbs Down. So that's um, that's something that you can definitely do inside of your Morning Fame is to figure out what it is you need to make videos on. There are going to be more videos coming. I just have to edit them. I'm doing so, that on the plane. While we're here... Let's try to talk about how to improve your channel and use mine as an example because okay, I want my channel to grow because I only have four around four subs right now and then I have four people working with me. True. Um, why don't you tell them what? Who knows? You might grab a couple. Why don't you tell them what your your channel name it's is? It's about my What's channel name? name is Cosplay Nerds. I'll go and I'll put that here. Yeah. And I will make sure to also. Link put it. a link in the iCard for you as well. Um, so for a cosplay channel, the thing with that is that it's entertainment. And entertainment is going to be so, you know, it, I find that an entertainment channel is going to be a lot more difficult to grow because entertainment is, there's nothing that, there's not an actual niche to that. Now I realize cosplay is a niche. Don't get me wrong. Mm -hmm. It is. It is. But I think to actually make your channel grow and get people to watch your cosplay, I think that you need to go in and find ways to put some how-to in there. And I know you don't want to hear that. I low know cash, you don't. Low cash. Boom. Low cash cosplay. That's your niche. I'm musically as well. That's your I niche. I find them. That's your niche. Probably like 20 something. Um, so that's you know that would be the direction I would take in your channel you can have your entertainment I think that's could be great but I really think to grow something like an entertainment you have to throw in a how-to mm -hmm. so, I'm, I'm planning on doing that um, other things you could do to monetize that and I realize that it's illegal for you to monetize this so we'll put it under my Amazon I'll kick it back to you or whatever but um, any anything like those wigs that you have that you use, you could totally link that down inside the description. Hi, Razman. Um, I was on his channel, um, and so I I actually did an interview with Razman. Um, but you could totally go in and put a link to the wig where someone can buy your wig. 
if so if you bought a certain shirt and you got it from Amazon you can link that down in the description as well and that's ways that you can monetize I bought my shirt channel. and I felt from Walmart like mm -hmm. but the fact is what if you don't know like the sellers maybe? almost anything can be sold on Amazon um, I know that Walmart also has affiliate program as well so you can do anything like that. You can really monetize almost any channel. Razman, you could totally monetize your channel by putting in links to links to um, the previous videos. You have Pirates of the Caribbean that just came out. Totally find links out to um, the previous Pirates of the Caribbean movies and put it inside your descriptions. That way you earn some money too. So what does Razman's do? So Razman's reality, and we've talked about everyone else that's come in. Yeah. Um, he does movie reviews. Like he'll go to the movies and then he'll watch the movie and then he'll give his honest, unbiased opinion. Old not dead. I remember the first time I saw your channel when I looked up live drawings. Yeah, Aiden. Um, I, I drew Zentangle. If a channel is um, for kids, you cannot advertise affiliate links, Jazzy Puppet. I did not know that. That's very good information. Hmm. I did not know that well, you taught it isn't me something. Exactly for kids, because cosplay is well, all ages. But Jazzy Puppet is Jazzy Puppet. Um, remind me, Jazzy Puppet is it six to eight? More. And we will, yes. Yes. And Tim Longwell Art here actually just gave me. Hold on. Um, just gave me a link and talked about Roberto Blake, which you know I love. Yes. Thank you. I will watch that on my phone. Yeah, I will watch she has that. a ton of time. I do I have a ton of cracked. time. Well, I watch Roberto Blake, like, all the time. But actually, um, the video that he's talking about is... Oh, let me see. I'm going to go and throw that. Oh, here's something. So if you're doing, like random stuff like m like for example me i'm doing cosplay i also do it on musically and i was thinking of doing a compilation for my music plays for those that are interested yeah um so that's actually a link out to roberto blake's um video which I am gonna be watching but that way you know exactly what I'm looking at I'm not watching it at the moment but um, it's why the word oversaturation is cheating you out of six figures so I'm going to have to check that out um, honestly I've been MIA for a hot minute so to update you on my life I do actually work a job at the moment and um, Toys R Us can't say that um, so because you can't so I had an impromptu um, interview for a position and it was so impromptu that the I in the afternoon I found out about it and I was supposed to have the interview needing a PowerPoint early in the morning so I stayed up all night to go in and make that PowerPoint so I've been MIA because I've been tired um, so yeah that's that's kind of what what we're talking mm -hmm. about today is just you know update update so definitely give it a thumbs up update not thumbs down it. if you like it if you hate it now we can start saying that in our videos and if anyone ever says that like hate not clickbait Ooh, i like that um but if if anyone ever says anywhere that um i got a thumbs down and it tanked my channel now you have something that you can point to hey old not dead Right there. Old Not Dead. What does Old Not Dead do? Old Not Dead does um, a vlogging style. Kind of kind of entertainment. But um, actually, I find him entertaining. Um, Old Not Dead, why don't you go in and mention what you do? Yeah. So we can hear it from you. Well, no, I've, I've watched his videos. And they're, they're vlogs. But um, they're, they're different. Why our conference never occurred. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I'm going to have to watch that for real. Oh my God. When, when does she say the plane's coming? 11 something? I'm going to have to watch that beforehand. Um, yeah, so Titans oh. of YouTube. I want to talk about Titans of YouTube. Mm -hmm. I have not made an official video on the Titans of YouTube and who you need to watch and why. So 
since uh, since Tim mentions that, let's mention that. Roberto Blake is going to be the guy you're going to want to go to if you want to learn how to go and make your... Thanks, Jazzy Puppet. Hi. Um, Roberto Blake is the guy that you want to watch if you want to um, think about the business end of YouTube. I will say that Nick Nimmin is the one if you want to go and learn about visual authority on your YouTube channel. And then we have the ever-wonderful Brian G. Johnson, um, who is your... Oh my god. Airplane. These airplanes <laughs> just want me to get pizza. Um, so Brian G. Johnson is going to be the guy that's going to be talking about... We can have pizza. We will in a moment. Um, who's going to be the one that, that you're going to want to go to learn how to rank your videos with the keywords? Hmm. So what I'm curious about is really what people should you watch? Like what people do you recommend in every, like for example, I, if I name three. Oh, there's more Titans. I'm I not know. done naming Titans. I know, but if I name three niches huge niches or small like niches that you're familiar with if i name three niches who are the most recommended that you recommend well let's finish. let's do this let's finish. yeah let, let me finish the titans and then we'll go over th with that too yeah. um so then there's tim schmoyer who honestly he talks about a lot he doesn't really talk so much about the analytics yeah. But he, he talks more about, like, other things in YouTube. Then you have your Daryl Eves. He's the YouTube guru that seems to know the ins and outs. I believe he's certified. Um, I don't... I think Tim Schmoyer is also certified. Um, Sean Cannell is all about tech, all about gear. And I have to give a huge shout-out to my friend Gord Eisman. Gord. I've heard a lot about Gord. I've talked to Gord myself. Gord. 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 Um, so Gord... Love Gord. He said he was. He's actually. He's gonna try to pop in. Um, Gord is your man, and I know that everyone here that is inside the chat right now um, has at least come in contact with Mr. Gord Eisman. I will put a link up here. Man, I'm putting so many links, so many cards. It's crazy. You're gonna um, forget one. I will. I'm gonna have to watch it over again. So amazing with tech. He's not just a Camtasia man. I I know that. That may be all that you may see on his channel, um, or all that you see at first. That's but he cool. has. All right, that's fine. He's gonna There's talk to us. A lot more. He's not gonna talk to us. A lot more He's than just Camtasia. So he mm -hmm. is handy with green screen. He's actually thinking about doing a green screen academy kind of thing. So if you want to learn more about green screen, definitely do it. I know me personally. I want to do some more green. I need to do green screen, not more green screen. Um, says Gord Eisman. My green screen. We are live streaming. I'm gonna get pizza. All right. Get me pizza, okay? Please. I'll so, give you some gum. Pizza's coming. I guess I gotta go. Um, but thank you guys so much for hanging out. Um, you definitely passed the time here. I appreciate that so much. So if you want to mm -hmm. learn how to be engaging, be fun, and be different, consider subscribing down below. And, and quickly answer this question. Are you going to stay one? with the new intro? Yes, Aiden. I think at the moment I'm going to stay with the new intro. Um, until no question I come unturned. Up with a new one. No question unturned. So All right. thank Peace you guys. Out. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video.